camping time. So, got here at night. Probably would have been better to get here a day because I did self-registration and I needed to know what campsite to go to, but uh, anyways, first time camping really by myself. It's quite peaceful. So I've been trying to set up this tent and I was watching YouTube videos, but I don't think it's possible to set up alone because I'm missing these things they call grommets, which is where you attach the tent poles into. So I got two options, sleep in the car, which I'm heavily considering, or just sleep on the ground. And I don't think it's gonna rain tonight. I'm gonna check, but I'll let you know. Okay, it does seem like it's gonna rain. So I'm gonna sleep in the car. And I have determined that it's a, a, just wide enough and so the trunk, if I fold back the back seats, that I can lie out across it much more comfortably. I used to sleep in the back seats, like just kind of curl up in a fetal position, but I don't have to do that. So um, it does, like I said, it's gonna rain uh, at least like throughout the night. So uh, I don't wanna sleep out here, but I am gonna make some food out on this table right here. And it's soup tonight. It's definitely, a little disappointing, you know, but I'm not gonna let this ruin my night. I'm still gonna have a great time. Ultimately, you know, we never know what's gonna happen. So, feels like it's my job to just roll with the punches. Actually a pretty comfortable temperature right now. Uh, it's currently December 17th and it's about 50 degrees right now and it's like 7 at night something like that so I'm not complaining one bit. Uh, there's my sleeping bag. There's the, okay here we go. So cooking setup real simple real small. I just got it. So we got Butane, isobutane. Oh, keep that off the table. It's a little wet. Anyway, isobutane stove. So in here we have the uh, stove and the pots together. The stove is just this real tiny little thing. If you look right here, see, it's just like it fits in here like fits in the palm of my hand and then it expands clever little thing this is it all folded down like so small and then these little guys fold out come on oh there we go okay then they lock into place there we go then you can't really push them down and then they attach canister. This is my first time actually opening up a canister. How does it work? You screw it on, then you screw it on. Yep. And this also has an ignition on it, so I don't need to bring a lighter or anything. Should be good, I think. Ah, yep. Keep on. Thank God for YouTube. <laughs> I got it going. Um, this is it. Whoa. It looks pretty solid to me. Oh my God. Ooh. This jacket is gonna be very gross. 
<laughs> by the end of this. Okay, though. Oh, I can see my breath. It's a little chilly, but nothing we can't handle. I mean, this is just Sacramento cold, okay? It's not very cold. <laughs> earlier, people, I was at a, a, or someone's birthday party just earlier today, and they were saying, you know, I was mentioned that I was getting some camping gear today. And they said, oh, you're going camping in winter? And I was like, yeah. And they were like, oh, well, it's pretty cold. <laughs> um, not a problem to me. I don't think it's that cold. Okay, so what we're having tonight is dynamite hot chili. So just a whole can, you know. Thank God they have these uh, pop tabs so you can just pop them up, theoretically. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Thank God I don't need to bring a can opener. Just, uh... <laughs> a little nervous, I'm gonna drop it. Hold on. I'm not talking about the phone, I'm talking about the chili. Or we're talking about the stove. Hot. Let's see, I have cutlery. Soon enough, we're gonna have some hot chili. Man, I have not been camping in a while. I used to go a lot when I was a kid, and we'd usually camp during the summer, but, uh, you know, shout out to Steve Wallace, uh, Camping with Steve. That show has really inspired me to get back into camping on my own, you know. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be some whole huge family event, you know, we used to go out to Yosemite every year in the summer, bring out all our friends, you know, it doesn't have to be some big event, you know, it's, there's just peace and being in nature and, you know, it's nice out here. Yeah, I can hear the road, but overall, you know, it doesn't get any better than this. That butane stove did the trick. It didn't even take too long. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. The moon is real pretty tonight. Mm. Look at this thing. Like, 
That's incredible. Oh my god. It really is. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I have dirty dishes and I do not have water yet. I was going to grab it when I came here and I did not see one yet. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to walk out to the lake. I'm at Folsom Lake, um, which is like a little bit north of Sacramento. Um, and it's a beautiful spot. And I know they have water near the bathrooms. So I'm going to go find a bathroom. got water but I need the water bottle <laughs> so unfortunately things don't always fit back in the bag the way that you put them in there go and we got water as you saw and that's going to be useful later too because i'm making coffee in the morning so let's do a little tour of the setup so this is my sleeping pad it says it's self-inflating which means that it might take some time to get going let me set this up somewhere are you gonna fall are you gonna fall you're not gonna fall? You're not gonna fall? You're gonna fall. Let me just climb up in here. How you doing down there? Uh, Self inflating. I don't know how that works, but I guess just air just really wants to get into this pad. I don't know. Something like that. I don't really know how that works, but we'll see. Hopefully it works. And then we got a sleeping bag. It's rated for 25 degrees. That's what it says is its limit. And it says the extreme is negative 15. I don't, I don't even know how you could possibly I'm not going to trust that, but it says comfortable temperature is 40 degrees, which is about what it's going to be tonight. It's going to be like 46 degrees, so it'll be pretty warm. And then the limit is 25. So I'd say might work for freezing temperatures. Um, probably use caution. But uh, tonight it'll be just fine. Yeah, it says comfort. It's rated for comfort in 40 degrees. So uh, I hope I'll be sleeping like a ruler of the world. Uh, I know it's self-inflating, but... I still did a little CPR on it anyway. <sighs> it's getting there. It's pretty nice already. Like I said, I've been doing a little CPR, but it was inflating on its own too, but it just not fast enough. <laughs> I want to go to sleep soon. But I think I'm just going to enjoy the few stars that we have in the city here.
So, I guess we're glamping tonight. <laughs> In the car. You know, that's luxury to me. Ugh, take these shoes off. My mom got me these shoes. They're, they're new. They're nice. They're called Tapos. So that some are... They're really good. Um, they're trail shoes. Uh, she got them for me because she, she thought they'd be good for work, but not so much. They're they're not. They don't have the right kind of grip, but they are good. They're really good, and I like wearing them. <laughs> they're very comfortable. They, my feet like them. the The kitchen floor just doesn't like them, and I don't want to die. All right. Good night, everybody. Uh, I'm just about to crawl into bed. And hopefully we'll sleep good, and tomorrow we'll wake up, have a little coffee, watch the sunrise. Don't mind if I do. Good morning. Whenever it stops raining, I want to make some coffee. But the manual said don't use the stove indoors, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to relax and keep enjoying the pitter-patter. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be raining for a few hours, maybe. Uh, definitely for the next hour. And on the schedule, it looks like it could be raining, like pretty much for like three hours. So I want to, I still really want to make coffee here because I got like instant coffee and I don't need that at home. I'm a Keurig, but um, I think what I might do. So, okay. So I woke up this morning and I was sleeping in the trunk, right? And I, everything was well and cool. Everything was all wonderful. And then, you know, I started to need to like use the bathroom and I looked in the front and I saw that the passenger door was like wide open <laughs> and it was it was just chilling open and rain was getting on like like look here rain was getting on my stuff and I was like a little freaked out but it wasn't a big deal it was, but the thing is it was still locked it wasn't unlocked I didn't leave the car unlocked it was the car was locked I think what happened is I might have accidentally left the seatbelt buckle in the door and then it wasn't latched fully, so it came open. But, I don't know. Anyway, so that inspired me to think, okay, what if I just like open up the trunk and then let a bunch of air in and then use the propane stove in the back? I think, I think it could work. And then it wouldn't be that dangerous because it basically be the same as being outside, but just with an overhang, you know? I'm gonna try it. really well. One of those cameras is the main one. Okay. How weird anybody could watch me. It's coming off the trail, but you know. I don't know. This is my tent. Well, that actually works really nice. So we got plenty of airflow. Try to set this up on a, a level surface. See the, the parts of the seats fold back? It's not level, so I'm gonna set it up on the actual trunk bed itself. It's, okay, now it's a speed run. So I've done it once. I can do it again. Now I actually know how it works. So I won't need to watch a YouTube tutorial again. Easy peasy. We got it going. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
We gotta say, don't turn on without anything in it. Okay. So, this can hold 14 fluid ounces. And I need 12. But see, the bottle itself has measurements on it. So, I'll just use these. So let's see, it's at a little over 20 ounces right now. So that means 20 minus 12 would be eight. So we gotta do a little over, get it to a little over eight ounces. Okay, that's just about a little over 12 ounces. Now we can turn it back on. Yeah, uh, instant coffee I decided to go with is layered. I've had this stuff before. I had like a, a creamer. I didn't actually have the instant coffee though, um, but it was really good. I had the mocha creamer and I like it because it has like adaptogens in it. So it has mushrooms and um, a lot of different types of mushrooms in it. And also it's all coconut based. So um, it's pretty healthy and doesn't have a lot of sugar. And see, I have a, a really weak gut, so I have this allergic reaction anytime I um, eat like too much processed food. So I need stuff that's like good. <laughs> uh, so like if I have any like white bread, um, I can't have that because I can't have too much of it because it, the way that they make the white, the they they process the flour in a way that makes it basically have very no nutritional value other than just sugar. Uh, so can't have that. Uh, don't like to have processed and homogenized milk either. So raw milk, superfood creamer, much better than half and half. Also, it said to add one fourth of a cup, but I don't have any measurements, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. <laughs> I don't really have an intuitive sense of what a fourth of a cup is, so. Seems right. The rain has actually subsided a little bit. Maybe we could take this outside. Make a little soup outside, I don't know. Get a little crazy, get a little stupid. still raining, but I decided to go for a walk. <sighs> Pretty nice out. Look at all these big rocks over here. Whoa. And I saw this sign with 
a picture of a fire and then like three rings under it. And I've seen it twice, I don't know what it means. I don't know if it means like a bonfire or something, but I wanna go check it out. It's pretty nice out. You know, I used to worry a lot about this jacket in the rain, but then I realized it's faux leather, which in English means fake. And then I stopped worrying about it so much. It's actually just plastic. I think I might get out of here in a little bit, but it's just uh, not very welcoming right now. <laughs> but it's nice being in here. I would just love to be out there. And I went for a walk, but <sighs> I don't want to get sick and wet and all that bad stuff. This coffee's good though. It's very, it's very heavy, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know, it's got a lot of, it's got weight to it. I don't know how to describe it, it's just heavy. Heavy, heavy flavor. And it's like, it's not like there's a lot of flavor. It's like, it's just heavy. I don't know, I don't know how to put it, but it's heavy. And I, I remember the reason I got this coffee in the first place was because um, or the reason I got the creamer in the first place it was because they didn't have any raw milk at the store, so I thought I'd try something else that would be good for me. And I decided to go with this. And I'm used to raw milk, it's very light, you know? Easy to, to drink. Drink a whole gallon of it, you know? <laughs> I probably wouldn't do that, but, you know, like a quart. I could, I could drink like a quart of it. You know, it's nice. It's good shit. But this is, is very heavy, so it kind of threw me off the first time I drank it. You know, I was like, but I'm prone to like it. I just think it was, it, you know, it was really my expectations that made it hard to enjoy it, you know, because I was expecting something light and easy, you know, like I was used to. And then it was a little bit heavier, a little bit of a, like a darker flavor. Um, and I just wasn't used to it. But yeah, I grew, I grew to like it quite a bit. And now, you know, it has a special place in my heart away from just being an alternative. It's just good. This is my first time having their instant coffee itself, actually, and not just the creamer. Pretty good. Um, I don't know if I made it exactly according to the recipe, but I think if anything, I maybe added a little bit too much of the, the coffee, so. Here's hoping. If it's not good, I'll go to Starbucks. But. <laughs> I want to make soup, but I was not a fan of that setup. And it's raining. <sighs> it's not raining anymore. You know what this means? Soup time. Let's see. Got all the stuff back here. Stove is in the back. Is it hot? Nope, not anymore. All right. And it's still assembled because I was just sitting in the front seat waiting for the rain to die down. 
and it's died down. It's very wet, so I'm just gonna stand, but today we're having rigatti pasta and meatball. Looked pretty good, so let's try it. So I actually just had a state trooper, or I don't know what you call them, but state parks person come out and uh, come check on me because I did the registration wrong. There was part of it that was a receipt that I was supposed to tear off and put in my dash and I didn't. So uh, everything worked out though. I just showed him my ID. He confirmed that the payment was received and you know talked about my car while he was waiting because I painted it myself probably mentioned that before but um yeah so so it went pretty well um but you mentioned that there's a lot of people come out here that have like warrants for their arrest and he asked me if I had a warrant and I was like no just want to do some camping <laughs> but yeah but you mentioned some people you know come through and late at night pull out early you know try not to pay but I just didn't know that I was supposed to do that <laughs> Um, tear off part of the envelope and use it as a receipt. So now I know, and I will do that in future. So, yeah. But not a bad day. Quite beautiful. It's also quite wet. <laughs> Everything is very wet, but it looks like it's cooking up nicely. Oh, wow, it's already hot. <laughs> Food turned out good. Mm. I ran it on a higher heat this time, so it's actually like hot. Um, heated up real nice just in a few minutes. I would add some more spices, but you know, for canned soup. Not too bad. I think I'm gonna try to level up my cooking game though as I go along, but cooking alone, this is all new to me. <laughs> mm. <sighs> Love that view though. All right, so we're headed home. Had breakfast, had coffee. Feeling pretty good. Glad I decided to do this. There'll be more camping trips to come. I was just gearing up and now this was the uh, maiden voyage of my camping supplies. Stove worked good. Sleeping pad and uh, bag worked great. Pad didn't really fit back in the bag too well. It's, or it's the sack. So many words, pad, bag, sack, anyways. Um, the pad didn't really fit back in its sack, but the sleeping bag worked fine because it didn't have a sack to fit back into. And the tent 
we don't talk about the tent but car was a good experience uh it was a little difficult getting sleep but i feel well rested so you know that's all that matters <laughs> and uh i don't really know what i'm gonna do the rest of the day but i guess i'll do some school work